Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your July 2021 mid-month general reading. We are looking at the last two weeks of July and this reading is for the air sign of Libra. Welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video, any of the videos uh, on my YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for all your likes, your shares, hitting that subscribe button, donations, feedback, comments, reaching out for personal readings, all greatly appreciated and it does make a difference. Thank you. So this reading is for the air sign of Libra for the last two weeks of July 2021. That's if your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Libra. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for a Libra. And of course, it's a general reading. It's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. Check all of your signs uh, for additional insight and points of view. And if you find that anything resonates with you uh, and you'd like to reach out and uh, get a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something, uh, either for yourself or as a gift for someone else, you can email me at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You'll see that email address by clicking on the description link below. I can usually respond the same day with more information. I do offer a wide variety of readings and I do readings full time. It's all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling. So if you're interested, uh, send me an email. I'd be most happy to hear from you. Okay, Libra, let's see what's in store for you for the last two weeks of July. I am using the Deviant Moon Tarot and clarifying with the Radiant Rider Waite. Okay, Libra, gosh, such a strong theme of relationships at the mid month so far. We have the Lovers, Decision, about your love life decision about a relationship a decision that's going to significantly impact your primary relationship might be a third party situation for some of you it doesn't have to be with the eight of cups leaving walking away turning away uh, because this is not fulfilling for you turning away in search of the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment getting what you want and abundance so definitely a decision that needs to be made feels like staying or going The Three of Swords, heartache, heartbreak, separation, emotional pain with the Four of Pentacles, withholding, guarding, protecting. This is somebody, it's also called the miser card, somebody who doesn't want to share or give out because they're afraid that it'll make them less secure, that they'll lose something. We have the chariot, possible success, but a very difficult, challenging road to get there with the nine of cups, which is the wish fulfillment, abundance, getting everything you want. You see the genie coming out of the lamp here, ready to grant the wish, but it looks like a really difficult road if it's possible. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. So this means that the focus during this period of time is compromise, negotiation, collaboration, trying to get everybody on the same page in terms of everybody wanting the same thing. So let's clarify. And it looks like it looks like getting getting on the same page. And again, there there's two three cards, so it might be a third party situation here. Um, the lover sometimes represents a three-party situation. We have the three of swords and the three of pentacles. And a third-party situation doesn't necessarily mean that the third party is another romantic option. It, it could be in, in a relationship just something that the other person is putting in front of you. It might even be their ideology, their way of life, or their own independence. Clarify the three of pentacles. The Four of Wands, happy home, marriages, celebrations with home and family. The Nine of Pentacles, independence, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, self-confidence. The Eight of Cups, again, leaving, walking away. Yeah. For some of you, this also might be kind of an ultimatum sort of energy. It's kind of like saying, look, I think what's at stake here, what is wanted, is whatever this Four of Wands represents. Happy home, stable home, harmony, marriage, weddings. Uh, reunions, um, stable, happy home. Here it's, you know, a couple getting married in this card and people getting ready to celebrate that. 
but then we have a strong sense of independence and leaving walking away I, for some of you i feel like an like an ultimatum like if we can't come to an agreement on where this relationship is going and where it needs to go then i'm going to leave because one i'll be better off by myself and i'll have a better chance of actually having what i want which is that four of wands that nine of cups whatever your wish fulfillment is you know whatever your white picket fences or your version of that is there's a strong feeling here that even though you're trying very hard to work with this other person on what needs to happen that it looks like a pretty tough go they may be just very very stubborn clarify the lovers the emperor my goodness this came out for i think a couple of the water signs as well i did earlier today could be you're in a relationship with an older person it could be a father or father figure it might not be a love romance relationship um you know it could be an issue within the home the family dynamics it could be an older person again the nature of the relationship because it's generating is going to vary we have the ace of swords the epiphany information being revealed the seven of swords what's being withheld you may be seeing something and not talking about it for some of you it's something is coming to light which is giving you kind of an epiphany moment and then we have the devil and the two of swords yeah the two of swords is uh, technically represents somebody being stuck but there's a reluctance and a resistance to take the blindfold off to see what's right in front of them so that they can put their swords down and make an actual choice uh, I'm getting a very stubborn energy off of this. And then the devil, which is negative toxic cycles. There's something alluring in it because the devil entraps and enslaves through temptation, right? Which is the nature of addiction. Yes, maybe the day-to-day -day life of the relationship is not good or there's something painful about it over and over and over again. But in, in between that, you'll have like these high moments and stuff like that, which is what keeps you there, right? the feel-good part of it but this person feels it feels like they're very very stubborn I mean we're clarifying the lovers this is I think that you're seeing that this person this feels very similar was it cancers you're seeing that this person I think the epiphany that you're getting Libra is likely that this is a toxic negative cycle and it's likely not going to change because this other person is not going to change they're too stubbornly holding you know in a romantic relationship perhaps one of you wants to get married perhaps you've been together for a while and one of you wants to get married or have a home life together and the other person doesn't because they say they don't need it and they say we don't need it and they say you know and you're like but look I don't want this kind of going up and down and up and down and up and down kind of relationship but they give you just enough that kind of keeps you in there right but I think what you're seeing here it, this looks like somebody who's having a major wake-up call about the true nature of the relationship clarify the eight of cups Justice. Death. And then the Four of Swords. Some of you may be having, so like it's this major wake up call. And it feels like for some of you, it's going to be that really difficult point in a long term, but not really all that healthy relationship where you actually see you have that moment where you see what it really is and you see that it's probably not going to change so then you're left with a decision if I stay I need to find some way of coming to acceptance of it and that's you know that's always cutting yourself down fragmenting who you are stripping away your self-esteem or making the decision to end this that you need to move on there's a sense here maybe of taking some time out to do that there's also a sense of maybe avoiding it for the time being it's like okay you get this big epiphany and then you have to go away for a while and kind of absorb it 
right? And kind of recover from the download of it, right? Clarify the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is emotional pain, heartbreak, heartache, and it comes with the Four of Pentacles. So there's disappointment and heartbreak over the fact that this person just can't get out of their miser mode, whether it's financial, material, emotional, not being able to give out or some combination of all of them. Clarify the Three of Swords. the lovers again and the five of pentacles because their decision or their lack of decision leaves you out in the cold leaves you feeling like you're in beggar mode leaves you hungry leaves you wanting clarify the four of pentacles the hanged man feeling like you're in stasis and limbo no action being taken yeah, this is disappointing because they're, it feels like their lack of a decision. I'm not moving forward. I'm not moving backwards. Things are fine the way they are. Um, and they won't give out. They won't give in. They won't give out. You know, it feels like a song from a line from a song or something. You know, it's like constantly withholding, but never actually making a specific decision about it. Things just staying the same way, which is the nature of the devil card. It just keeps going around and around and around again. Maybe you're wondering here with the chariot and the nine of cups, you know, am I, is this something I can really continue? Is this a ride I can continue to get on? The nine of swords and the seven of cups clarifies the nine of cups. The nine of cups is getting what you want, wish fulfillment. We already know with the chariot above it how nearly impossible of a task that seems to be and here you're starting to you're seeing that what you really want and envisioned with this person in this relationship regardless of the nature of the relationship it could be if it's the emperor it could be a husband boyfriend girlfriend wife father boss you're one this is stress over it's in, I can't even talk. My words are kind of... It's stress, anxiety, fear of the future, and wondering if actually what you want to have with this person or what you envisioned happening here is just an illusion. The Seven of Cups, building castles in the sky, fantasy, daydreaming, you know, not based in reality, which is what that wake... Well, I mean, that's what a wake-up call does. It, it, it blows away all the clouds and the rose-colored glasses, right? Maybe this is a relationship connection that you're thinking, man, it could be years before this ever happens, if it ever does. I'm, am I fooling myself? I think I might have been just been fooling myself this whole time. But it's so very, very difficult to think about doing anything different. I can see that here. Very similar to some of the other signs I've done so far. Uh, you know, same kind of theme, of course, with different details, but strong energy around relationship choices, you know. And I think that's also, I mean, I know personally with people that I know um, that that's the case right now. You know, we, we were locked down for a long time with the pandemic and everything that was going on. And, you know, it gave a lot of people time to kind of re-examine. And as the world is kind of opening back up again in a lot of places, life is beginning to resume some sense of normalcy. But a lot of people are going, you know, I don't know if I want to jump on this same bandwagon again, particularly where relationships are concerned. So any final messages for Libra? Guidance, advice, any final messages for Libra? The Queen of Swords, you. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, sun, moon, or rising. The Queen of Swords is sometimes known as the divorced woman or the widowed woman because she's had quite a hard life. And while that, those experiences, a lot of which have been painful, they've left her with a vast wealth of experience, but also... Um, the ability to, to put those rose-colored glasses aside and look at really cut right to the heart of the matter and be very direct about it and make decisions not based on her own emotions uh, but on what is true and practical and what she actually knows is the reality of the situation, right? This is not somebody who shies away from making decisions that are the best decisions, even if they might be emotionally painful decisions, right? This is about being exactly who you are. 
And, you know, in terms of, I mean, not everybody's, you know, everybody that's watching this and is having some kind of, you know, relationship issues here, you know, somebody who constantly makes you feel like the, the odd person out or, you know, like you have to beg for everything that you need. I mean, the Queen of Swords might be an, a bit of an implication that, you know, you, you need to either, you need to leave this situation, right? But whatever it is, whatever decision you make, whether it's to stay or go or whatever it is that you do, the Queen of Swords is about seeing the truth of a matter and, and acting on that truth, right? Because there's, it, it looks like the illusions are being dispelled here. So whether that's remaining in the situation, but with your eyes open, and I don't think that would last very long, but you know, free will and free agency, as I always say, or going, you know what, this is not going to change. So I really need to remove myself, even though, you know, it looks quite challenging and perhaps painful to do so. Either way, it's about manifesting the best of the character traits of who you are already, Libra. All right, Libra, those are your messages for the last two weeks of July. Um, I hope that it's been helpful for you, that it's given you some clarification or validation of what you've already known. Uh, again, if you're interested in reaching out for a personal reading, maybe taking a deeper look at something, uh, feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. You can also get that information by clicking on the description link below. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the August uh, general readings. Until then, stay well, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.